Join me as we create some fun and festive patriotic fireworks using toilet paper rolls. To follow along with me, you're going to need a pencil, a piece of white paper, some empty toilet paper rolls, scissors, craft paint of any kind, some paint brushes, toothpicks or q-tips, whatever you want to color with, and some glitter if you'd like. We are going to begin by grabbing your empty toilet paper roll and cutting simple straight lines all around one end. Now I'm going to make these ones skinny so close together and approximately one inch long. When you are finished cutting all of your lines, go ahead and fan out your pieces. This is going to be like the burst of the firework. So just fold them back and then I like to flip it upside down and press it down. Voila! There is your first firework. We are going to repeat that same process with our next toilet paper roll, but this one we are going to make our lines or strips just a little bit longer and a little bit thicker or wider to give it a little variation. For your last one, this is your choice. I'm going to cut it using alternative diagonal lines just for a little visual interest and to make this one a little bit different. But if you don't have three toilet paper rolls, just feel free to use one of the other ones you cut more than once in your painting. Once you've finished cutting your toilet paper rolls into your fireworks, go ahead and grab a paper plate and whatever kind of craft paint or temper paint you have at home. Now you can choose any colors that you'd like, but for this I'm going to keep it patriotic using red, a dark blue, and a light blue. Next, grab any paintbrush or foam brushes you have and begin painting the areas of the toilet paper roll that you cut. Keep in mind color theory. If you're using reds and blues like me, you know when you mix two primary colors like red and blue, you will get a secondary color of purple. So try not to blend or mix them too much on your toilet paper roll. Make sure to work quickly so the paint doesn't dry and apply a generous amount of paint covering the surface of the toilet paper roll. Once you've finished covering it with all of the paint, you're going to flip it upside down, press down on each little strip, and create that firework stamp. Repeat the process on each of the toilet paper rolls, placing them down wherever you want your firework to be. Next, if you know me, you know I love to add a little glitter when I can. So while your fireworks are still wet, sprinkle a little glitter on top. As the paint dries, it'll act like glue. If you don't have any glitter, feel free to skip this step. Now that we've added a little sparkle to our fireworks, we're going to add some little painted dots to look like our fireworks are exploding all over the page. So with a toothpick or a q-tip, go ahead and dip the end in some of your leftover paint and just start applying random dots all over your paper.
When you're finished with that, go ahead and shake the excess glitter off onto your paper plate. Set this picture aside and let it dry before adding some last little details. Now that your painting is completely dry, it's time to add some fun details for visual interest and movement. So we want to make it look like our fireworks are exploding in the sky, shooting off from the ground by just creating some curved lines that come to a point at the bottom of our paper. Once we've done that, we want to create some beautiful, fun stars. Because who doesn't love some festive stars for the 4th of July? We are going to start by drawing a triangle, but not connected at the bottom. So just create a point like a capital A, and then cross it towards the top. And then we're going to simply use that line to connect all of the others by creating some diagonal lines. Once you've drawn your star, it'll look like there's five little triangles coming out from the center. Go ahead and erase those extra lines. Those are just your guidelines that helped you draw your star. Then go ahead and continue this process around your paper, adding as many stars as you would like. I also want my fireworks to look like they're bursting from the center, so I'm going to draw some curved lines coming out of the center. Next, grab whatever you would like to trace your lines, whether it be Sharpie or colored markers, and begin tracing all the lines that you just drew. Now, after you've drawn in all the stars that you wanted, feel free to just leave them outlined or grab your colored pencils or crayons or markers and color them in. Again, you're the artist, so this last little bit is up to you. Well done, amazing artists. I hope this video had you bursting with joy. If you liked it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you.